Well, as vaccinations roll out across the country and travel bubbles make news this morning, the idea of an overseas holiday could soon start to become a reality. Fancy that. And as one of Australia's favourite holiday destinations, Bali is doing everything it can to get ready. Carly Cummins is an Aussie expat in Bali and runs tourism company Bali Buddies. And Carly joins us now on the show. Thanks for coming on the show, Carly. We've been seeing some pretty grim images out of Bali, empty streets, nobody around, abandoned resorts and disrepair. Is, is that a true picture? Well, good morning and thank you for having me. Uh, it depends where you look, actually. So I've been keeping an eye on the Aussie media and what you've been seeing over there. And I know that you see a lot of the streets of Kuta and Legian and, and some of Seminyak, which certainly is much, much quieter than what Aussies would remember it. But go another 10 minutes up the road to Changu and you would barely know that there has been a pandemic. It's still quite busy. Where I live in Sanua, there is a big both local and expat community here and, and things here are really quite, um, besides the tourists, quite normal. And of course, if you go to downtown Denpasar, where they don't rely on the tourism, uh, it's pretty much hustle bustle business as usual there. So yes, there are parts where it, Bali will be looking very different to people at the moment just because of the lack of tourists. Um, but there also are parts that may surprise Australians of how Bali's looking at the moment. But what are those hotels and big resorts doing to try and stay afloat when they just don't have the influx of overseas tourists that they normally would? Well, it's been, I, in my role, I work with lots of them and it's been really inspiring to see the adaptation and innovation. So some examples of how they're kind of trying to attract the domestic market or the expat market is, you know, they're offering day passes now where they never have before. So us as expats or locals here can experience resorts that they mightn't have experienced before. They're doing a big staycation rollout where they're, where they're trying to get people, locals and expats to come and stay and spend their money there. Uh, they're even trying to entice some of, say, the Jakartan families who are working from home and schooling from home at the moment to come and do longer term stays in the resorts and they're setting up learning centres for the kids and, and things like that. So they've been really, really innovative um, when it comes to keeping their staff employed and that cash flowing. It's tough for every, well, nearly every business on the planet. What, what, what are other businesses doing to, to get through this period? So there's been some really um, interesting, I guess, what you call COVID pivots. Um, one of my favourite personally so far on the island is there's a big um, company that used to rely on event catering and they completely changed their strategy and use their industrial kitchen and now they do like home food catering so we can get big roast meals delivered and you can um, order groceries online. There's also been a lot of Aussies normally come over here and shop for their stores or shop for themselves. So there's been some really innovative, innovative people who have started up businesses of personal shopping and shipping back to Australia while the Aussies can't come here to shop themselves. Mm. Well, when we can go back, what's it going to look like? You know, I think there's been a little bit of a worry in Australia that maybe Bali won't be the same, but I, I tend not to agree with that. Australians fell in love with Bali because of the beautiful um, culture and charm of the Balinese, because of the beautiful nature of the beaches and, and the waterfalls and the rice fields. And all of that has only, especially the nature, has only become more beautiful with the break. Um, so while, yes, there have been some businesses closed down and maybe your favourite won't be here when you come back, but you can be ensured that you'll be warmly welcomed. Uh, the nature of Bali is that as soon as borders reopen, more businesses will pop back up again and, and everybody will go back to 100%. So I don't think there needs to be a worry from Australians that it's not going to be the Bali you remember. We're actually hoping it will be a better Bali because there's been a lot of focus on sustainability yeah. um, and making businesses more sustainable. Well, let's Sounds let's like you're hope on top so. Yeah, Carly, thank you so much for your time and good luck. Could be some good deals when they finally open up. Yeah, you know? I can feel the humidity now. <laughs>